Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation to learn all about our pricing tables module. So I love this module because anytime you're creating a business website that has either products or services, maybe subscriptions, whatever it may be, a pricing table comes in super handy. And we've created a lot of unique features within this module that allow you to create really attractive offers to your visitors. So in this video, we'll show you how to implement it on your page by adding it and also how to set it up and customize it. So stay tuned and check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of Divi's pricing tables module. With the pricing tables module, it's easier than ever before to create pricing tables for your online products. You can create as many tables as you want and then you can control the pricing and the features of each one. You can even feature a particular plan to increase the conversions for that specific plan. Even if your module includes more than one pricing table, it will be treated as one module. So it will fit nicely on any column of your web page. Now to get a better idea of the settings and how to add one to your website, let's go ahead and I'm going to delete this one. And so now I have my row with a one column setup. And in this one column setup, I'm simply going to add a new module and I'm going to add my pricing tables module. Once I do, the first thing I see is uh, the, in the content tab is an option to add new items. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is add uh, or the first table I'm going to add, I'm going to put the title as starter plan. And underneath that in the subtitle, I'm just going to put uh, great for individuals. Uh, for the currency, I'm just going to add a dollar sign since it's American dollars. Um, the per section here, I'm going to add month to designate that this is going to be a ongoing plan, payment plan per month. And then the price is going to be $8. Uh, we need a button uh, below. Uh, so let's go ahead and for now, I'm just going to put, you know, buy now. In here, uh, I'm going to add the, 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 the list of features that are going to be for this starter plan and I'm going to paste it in here you can see that uh, by default uh, there's going to be some bullets next to each one of these list list items and underneath the little help section of my content area here if I click on this little question mark um, I can see a description of how to use these um, plus and minus symbols in front of each one of my list items to designate it as either included or excluded. A plus symbol would be included and then a minus would be excluded. So I'm just going to add a plus symbol in front of my first two items and then a minus in front of my bottom two and as you can see they become faded out to show the user that it's not included in the plan. All right, let's continue on. Um, I need to put a URL for my button and let, or it won't show up. But, so I'm just gonna put that for now. I could um, designate a background for my table here. In fact, I'm just gonna use uh, the general settings for that. So I'm gonna leave the individual settings alone for now. And uh, I could go in and customize my design for these individual tables settings, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to go ahead and save this one out. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this plan to kind of get a head start on setting up my other ones. And let's go ahead and go to my second table that I've duplicated. And I'm going to customize the content here. Instead of a starter plan, let's make it a business plan. And make it great for teams. Uh, let's keep the currency and the per setting the same. 
change the price to $28. Um, keep everything else the same, except I want to actually change this unlimited data list item to a plus since it is kind of a step up. So you get more with this plan. All right, so that looks good. Let's save this one out. Let's go to our last table here. Change it to an extended plan. Instead of great for individuals, let's make it great for companies. And let's change the price to 48 since it's our most costly plan. And we want to include everything on this plan, so let's make them all plus. All right, so we have kind of all the content there. And now all we need to do is change the design settings to make it match the rest of our site. I'm gonna save this out. All right, so in the content tab, we've added all of our tables. Now we're going to continue to customize it and design it how we want to. So under the element section, we can choose to hide the bullets if we want. I kind of like those, so I'm going to keep them. The background, um, I'm going to keep as the default for now, but you could change it here. Um, maybe change it to, you know, a yellow or something. Um, not going to. Uh, erase that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the design tab. Here we have a whole bunch of features that we can use to, you know, design every element of this uh, table here. Under the layout section, you can choose to have a separate featured table background. Featured table is the one that you've elected to serve as the one that's featured. Um, normally, it would be the kind of centered one here. Um, just so we can get an idea, let's actually go back to our individual pricing table. Let's go to the business plan. And the way you change it to a featured uh, table is you go to the design tab under layout. It has this option where I can select it to be a featured uh, table. And as you can see, when I do that, it elevates it above the, the rest, gives it a background color behind the header you know, to further separate it. So now that we've elected one as our featured, now we can go over to our design tab. And whenever we see an option that is going to change only the featured table, we can see that take effect. So for example, if I wanted to just change the featured table background color in my design settings, I could do that here. You can see it only apply that, you know, that background color to the featured table. Maybe I want to add a, you know, a light blue or something. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, let's take that out and keep the default white there. I could also show the featured table drop shadow, which adds a nice depth to my table there. Um, if I have text in my uh, list of features here, that I, if I wanted to, you know, center those, maybe that would look better. I could do that. Uh, I could change the bullets colors and the, uh, only the colored for the featured bullets. I could do that here. Um, you probably wouldn't want to change this, uh, but if you did, you could change all the, uh, text in the table to be left aligned, right aligned things like that. Uh, the header, header text here, um, I could change the only the featured header if I wanted to, and only the featured uh, table header uh, text color and background color. Actually, I'm going to change the featured table header background color. That's a mouthful. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and change it to my blue here that's going to match the site. Gonna paste it in there. All right, that looks good. Continuing on, I'm gonna leave my my featured header text alone. 
um, my table header background color I'm just gonna leave as the you know the gray default here uh, I am going to change my header font size here let's go ahead and give it about a 26 and keep the text color the same letter spacing and all that my body text this is the text uh, with that displays uh, my list of features uh, maybe I want to you know increase the font size maybe to like an 18 or something so you can read it better And of course, um, I have the ability to change the color of my body text only for my featured table. Subheader, that's right underneath this title here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and decrease that font size a little bit. Uh, let's see. One thing I forgot to do um, for my bullet here. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of it to match my site. So I'm going to paste that in there. So I have matching blues. Let's go on to our currency and frequency text. This is this refers to the, you know, the the currency symbol here which is the dollar symbol and also the frequency which currently is this kind of forward slash and then whatever you've designated uh, right now it's month so that text can be designed and customized here maybe I want to increase it a little bit let me make it 22 pixels um, I'm gonna keep the um, actually I'm gonna change the color let's go ahead and match that blue there that way when I go to my next setting which is the price price text I'm going to change my price text color to blue as well. That looks nice. Price text, of course, refers to the, the actual number value here. So, of course, I can change the only for the featured if I wanted. And all of these other settings would apply to that price text. The border. Um, you could choose to use a border for your individual uh, that would or for this module which would you know create a different look here right now I have a border that's a uh, white that's one pixel so it's very light but if I when this is also a way you can create a little spacing here if you wanted to just increase that border width and since the white matches the background it kind of looks like you're just adding spacing between each of my tables there go ahead and go back to the default I could use uh, custom styles for my button I'm gonna go ahead and do that actually select yes and then for my button text size let's go ahead and increase it a little bit to like 24 pixels for my button text color I'm gonna give it that same blue paste that in there um, actually you know what that's not what I want I'm gonna make this white my button text color needs to be white so that I can add my blue background color so white button text color and then for my button background I'm gonna add this blue that looks good and then for my button border color I'm gonna also have that matching blue so that I can see my uh, border radius there and we have all the options available to customize the button that we would normally have within our other modules we also have the ability to adjust the sizing of the module uh, add some spacing around the module with our margins and paddings and add an animation as well in our advanced tab we always have the option of adding our custom CSS IDs and classes if we're using an external style sheet to style this module. We can also add some inline custom CSS to target the individual elements of the module here. We can add a button relationship to our button here on each of these tables 
and also adjust the visibility of this uh, pricings table on any of these devices. And that's about it for our general settings. Um, but if I wanted to, if we go back to our content tab, I could go in and to each of my individual pricing tables here and I can customize the uh, individual settings. So uh, we already went through our content tab for each one of these. But if I wanted to go to my design tab and just give this individual pricing table a unique look, I can do it for each and every one of them. Uh, again, the, the standout item for these individual ones is this make this table featured, which is where you would want to do that. And also this excluded item uh, option here, which gives you an, op an option to change the way the text looks uh, on those items that you have as excluded in your content box there. You know, the ones that have the, the minus symbol in front of it. Um, you can change the color. So if you wanted to change it to a yellow, you can see it change in my, my table there. All right, so there's your overview of the pricing tables module.